but it is a constant challenge for us. And certainly it's part of our jobs and we work with our partners like the National Estuary Program to try and educate and advise people and, and get the word out and then on the back end of course. I always like to, to check in on the travelers that are coming through Morro Bay. They come into Morro Bay and they tell us, wow, this is such a gem of a place. You're so lucky to be here. And then I think, yeah, I am. I, I really do feel lucky to be here, but it would be fun to go out and adventure too. <laughs> we had a call from some concerned citizens that there was a pod of dolphins that were stuck way, way in the back bay. It turned out by the time we got there, all the dolphins had gotten out but one. Uh, back in the Cuesta Inlet, we were able to get it into a sling. Uh, get in the back of a truck, drive it out to the beach just north of the rock and released it successfully. Uh, never ended up showing back on the beach that we know, so we assume it turned out okay, but for a day we were dolphin herders. Um, one of the sea otter uh, biologists here, they had a, uh, they were in the bay one day and, and uh, one of our previous Harbor Patrol officers who's since retired was out assisting them and they were out capturing otters in the bay to tag them and they had netted an otter, you know, they snuck up on it close enough, net it, got it in the boat and the otter absolutely turned on him and had them all at the edge of the boat up on the bow ready to dive off because it was just an absolute menace on the boat. Was, the otters are not nice when they're trapped. I just feel so grateful that there are people that are dedicating their life to keeping the estuary a clean, safe place for the future. Um, with having the estuary program here in Morro Bay, I think it's so important to the community. I mean, the health of the bay is critical to this, this whole area out here and probably to the west coast. So a lot of species that probably rely on this estuary.